Uh, I hope you can hear me. Uh, thank you. I have a pleasure to announce and start the conference. It is uh, interesting and probably for the first time, a combination of uh, annual conference of uh, national society, in this case, Serbian, Structure, Integrity and Life Society, with uh, two ESIS technical committees, TC15 and TC18. So having in mind that this is in a way ESIS event, I would like now to give a floor or better to say to give a screen to Francesco Iacoviello, president of ESIS, who will address us with a couple of words to open the conference. Francesco, please. If uh, mm -hmm. I have to say only two couple, a couple of words, welcome everybody. So I think we can stop. Just so <laughs> I can say something more. And uh, well, this is really a pleasure to open uh, so nice event, uh, as you told already, organized by two different TC and by national group, uh, national groups and technical committees. Technical groups and technical committees are uh, the core of uh, European Structural Integrity Society, and the organization of events like this one is uh, really interesting. So I hope that uh, it will be only the first one uh, from a very long list, let's hope. And uh, I wish to thank uh, the chairman of these two groups, uh, first of all, because they are chairman of the ASIS groups, and then because they are very good friends, and uh, also, obviously, Alexander, for being uh, both one of these chairmen and uh, the uh, president of the Serbian group. So welcome and enjoy this event. Thank you. Microphone, Alexander. Thank you also for that. <laughs> now, uh, I would like to invite you, Filippo Berto, who will address us on uh, behalf of uh, TC15, and he will tell us a bit more about the technical committee on additive manufactured materials, to be the most general. Yes, Filippo, thank please. you, thank you so much, Alexander, for uh, for the kind invitation. I think uh, this event uh, is unfortunately online, but is the first uh, I hope of a long series of events where we join together. Technical Committee 15 and Technical Committee 18. Actually, additive manufacturing and welding technologies are quite uh, uh, linked together. So it will be very nice to follow up uh, this event with some in-presence events. Uh, Technical Committee 15 was uh, first uh, founded, founded in uh, uh, 2016. And after that, we start with some activities. The first big activities was the European Structural Integrity Conference in 2019 in Trondheim, where we had uh, 160 participants in presence before the COVID. And after that, uh, we organized in last September with uh, some colleagues from Vienna and with my colleague Jan Torgersen from NTNU, uh, an event online where we had uh, uh, more than one, uh, 100 uh, speakers uh, dealing with additive manufacturing problems. So uh, the topic is quite hot and the technical committee is very active nowadays. So uh, we are doing, a, a, I hope, a good job for the community, especially for the European Structural Integrity Society. And we will go ahead with uh, more events. So we are now planning the events for the next, uh, uh, in the next two years, the big events in presence. But I hope that this technical, that this event, this joint event uh, between tech TC15 and TC18 will remain. And uh, hopefully this will, this will be the last event online and we will make soon an event in presence. After that, I want to add a few words uh, regarding the collaborations between uh, the two groups, the Italian group of Fractu and the Serbian group. Uh, 
that is also, a, a, I mean, a good occasion today. I'm also the president of the Italian group of Fracture after Francesco, and Francesco, of course, remains as a emeritus president. But uh, we hope that uh, this event will be also a kind of starting point for more events, uh, more joint events together between the two societies. And I hope that we can really uh, contribute, especially for creating a strong group of young people that can continue our work after uh, after us or, or with us, hopefully. But uh, so we want that uh, these two society will be successful and we work uh, together for a long time. So uh, it's my pleasure also to say this uh, and to and to and to hope that uh, this will happen with all the possibility that, that we have and with the potential that we have. So I, I don't have anything else to add. I think uh, the, the I can I can leave the the screen to <laughs> to Paolo that can introduce the technical committee 18. That is the technical committee on welding. Thank you, you, Filippo. Thank you, Filippo. Paolo, unmute uh, microphone and uh, okay. say a few words. Thank you very much. Uh, if uh, I can, I share my screen uh, because I prepare a little presentation of the technical committee 18. This is one. Okay. Uh, first of all, good morning, everyone. Um, this is this is a presentation of the technical meeting TC18. I have to say uh, first that it is uh, a very young because it is it, it is born born in uh, between 19, 2020 2021. So I have a uh, little word to say about that. Uh, I wish to present uh, the team uh, and then uh, the scope of the, this uh, technical meeting and then to present person, um, great research and professor, the technical committee is dedicated to. So uh, this is uh, the team, um, and probably you already know it's, it's, uh, it's persons, it's uh, uh, participants of this team. Um, uh, uh, Professor uh, Oste uh, Grong from NTU, NTNU University, Alexander Sedmach, that you're here, um, and then Filippo Berto and Jose Antonio Carreira. All are all uh, persons that are uh, experts in the, in the fields of, uh, of welding and structural integrity in general. So I, it is a great pleasure for me to be part of this, uh, of this team. Um, the, the scope of uh, this uh, technical committee team, uh, I summarize using these variables. So let me read uh, the, the different um, goals that we have in mind. So first of all, we have uh, to promote uh, structural integrity of welding joint that are obtained by advanced manufacturing processes. Uh, we are going to develop an effective criteria for the design of simple and complex welding connection under starting in a cycling loan, promoting the development of new modeling to speed up the process parameter optimization, deepening the correlation between process parameter and welding joining properties, providing an update state of the art about the design of welding joints, to generate guidelines aligned with the advance in the manufacturing process and post-treatment, able to improve the structural performance of welding joint, and last but not least, organizing a series of events. Also together with TC18, as uh, already said, uh, Filippo, and STM. These are the main, scope, main goals that we are in mind. So uh, it is a, a great uh, pleasure for me to present them. And finally, I told you before, uh, I want to mention that this technical committee is dedicated to two great persons, professors and researchers. First of all, Professor Stojan Setmak, uh, that I have no the opportunity to know in person, but uh, I know his uh, great work he, he done. And of course, Professor Paolo Lazzarin, that I was, uh, it was a privilege for me and uh, let me say a grace to know him because he was uh, uh, my greatest professor, my best professor in uh, design machine. 
and uh, so it, it is. Uh, it has. It is a. It is a pleasure. I'm very happy to that this this uh, technical meet is dedicated to this great research and, and person and professor. Okay, I. This is uh, my presentation, and uh, I have no other word to say about that because, as I told you before, is uh, is the first time that uh, TC18 appears, uh, and uh, of course uh, we have. Uh, in mind great great events and uh, goals as I mentioned before thank you uh, thank you Paolo so now we know better what are these technical committees about and uh, especially uh, TC18 which is uh, very very much uh, related to the event today, of course, TC15 as well, but somehow, at least for my personal view, I am a man in welding so, and just a new new kid on a block for the AMM. But of course, that is also very uh, strong discipline and hot topic nowadays. And also what I really uh, was uh, very much uh, fond of when I uh, actually realized that there is a link between additive manufactured materials and welding. I realized that on the occasion of one conference uh, uh, this year in, in uh, spring time, it was in Rom well, it was online, of course, uh, nominally in Romania. And then there was a talk about uh, surface welding uh, in a sense that it is about uh, the same process, especially if we we'll use, let's say, laser uh, beam welding, uh, the same process as uh, uh, some of processes used for additive uh, manufactured materials. So that was also a uh, driving force to, to make these uh, uh, joint events. Now let me share the screen and try to present uh, Serbian Structural Integrity Society. Uh, you can see now my slides, I hope. So, uh, we already heard today about uh, Stan Sedmak. And the story of Divk is actually a story of him, since uh, he was the first to introduce fracture mechanics in ex-Yugoslavia and even in Southeast Europe. Uh, he was uh, working on his uh, magister thesis, as it was called decades ago, uh, when his uh, advisor, who happened to be later on uh, president of Serbian Academy of Sciences, Nikola Haidin, asked him to uh, add one chapter on a uh, Bowie problem. And since uh, experimental uh, technique was at the disposal at that time, Stoyan used photoelasticity to uh, get uh, estimation of stress concentration and stress intensity produced by cracks at the uh, round uh, hole. And that is how fracture mechanics actually was born. And that was more than 50 years ago. Uh, later on, uh, he met Alexander Radovic, another great name. Uh, they worked uh, for the first a real experiments together to, to, to establish actually uh, experimental procedure according to standards and apply it to brittle metallic alloys. And that was actually Stoyan's thesis. And uh, uh, at that time, he also started uh, to, to work in uh, weld, uh, welding field in, in uh, 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 discovering uh, some details about welded joint behavior, and that was under the influence of his uh, big uh, great friend Alexander Radovich. Uh, 
after that, uh, in in uh, years to come, we had here Michael Nook, professor from USA, uh, for his uh, sabbatical year, and uh, he suggested that we start a series of uh, international fracture mechanics summer schools, and that was one of three milestones to establish structural integrity society later on. The other two were construction of reversible hydropower plants. And here I should mention Tiko Slotosic, who was uh, brave enough as a director of a company uh, in charge for construction to, to start such a project and to complete it successfully. And, yet, and then the third milestone, <clears throat> which is uh, which was uh, USA U XU project. Uh, so three milestones were enough to make a stable development because three points are minimum for a stable plane. Uh, just to mention that, uh, except those uh, experimental uh, early works, the first International Fracture Mechanics Summer School also launched theoretical and numerical fracture mechanics. It was Jovo Jaric and Mladen Berković who completed this uh, story. So brief uh, history, or maybe to say prehistory and history of uh, Serbian structural integrity and life society is uh one too many is uh, presented here you can see stein at, at his office uh you can see some of the events that i already mentioned and a uh, few other that i didn't so i will start from year 1992 that was in the mid of the chaos in uh, ex yugoslavia but uh, even in that uh, circumstances, which was mission impossible, but successful, we have organized a European conference on fracture number nine. Of course, it had to be replaced. It was in Varna. And once again, thanks to our friends from Bulgaria who strongly uh, helped us to, uh, real, to, to fulfill uh, mission impossible. Now, after all this has happened in the in, uh, 20th century, we have established uh, DIV, as we call it in a shortened form, that is uh, a Serbian society for structural integrity and life. And the full title also has a professor, Dr. Stan Sedmak, in its name. Uh, at the same time, we have established Journal of Structural Integrity and Life which is uh, indexed in Scopus and emerging clarivate world of uh, science. It is also in a way affiliated journal of uh, ESSIS. You can find it also on ESSIS uh, website and it is of course open uh, access journal. Serbia uh, as it uh, played uh, more and more important role in ESSIS also was uh, promoted in a way by uh, having one vice president position since 2014 and uh, one very, very uh, successful uh, event uh, that was uh, held in Belgrade. It was European Conference of Fracture 22. We attracted about 560 participants and it was uh, the last conference in person uh, and i sincerely hope that next year we will all get together in madeira for european european conference of fracture 23. now just a brief overview of our activities once again this is prehistory this is just to to, to briefly show uh, our series of international fracture mechanics summer schools we always had about uh, 10 to 15 uh, foreign lectures and then 10 to 15 domestic ones up to number seven which was in year 2000 
it was uh, oh, monographies after the these summer schools were published in Serbian, but then starting with uh, IFMAS 8 up to IFMAS 10, monographs are also published in English. Uh, they are also available on ESI's website. The other milestone, as I announced, was the project. Uh, USA XU, it was a very large project uh, with uh, participants from all six XU republics. Uh, duration was 1982-1990. You can see here uh, that it was Serbia, Slovenia, Bosnia, Croatia, Montenegro, uh, <laughs> not twice Montenegro, this is <laughs> misprint, uh, Ma uh, Macedonia at that time, now it's North Macedonia and Montenegro. So everybody was involved and it was a real partnership with, with very, very many activities. And you can see here, few of uh, key persons in this uh, project. Uh, they read, Sven Sedmak and Ed Fuller. Uh, so, as I said, all this prehistory led to the uh, final establishing of uh, DIVC. It was in uh, early 2001, so we did have our 20 years of celebration this year. And uh, I will not now go into details, of course, uh, just to show you briefly a couple of our activities. Uh, you can see here that we have uh, regular seminars every year, one or two of them. Some of them are listed here. Then we have uh, frequent uh, guests, again, one or two or three per year, uh, who are eminent professors and researchers uh, from all over the world. You can see a couple of names here as well, and on this slide as well. And then, of course, uh, our activities uh, in ESIS are very important. We have been active, uh, dominantly for the conferences. ECFs are the, the main events in, in ESIS ag agenda. So we, even in uh, years when uh, things are not very uh, positive and uh, promoting here, we, we uh, were able to keep the continuity. And then after, let's say, 2010, after ECF 18, uh, our uh, participation at uh, SS conferences uh, became much stronger, much more active. And since other activities were also uh, there, we were granted, our proposal was accepted for ECF 22, as I already mentioned, to be held in Belgrade, and it was held uh, three years ago. I did tell already about our journal, uh, just to mention also that we are active in different uh, technical committees, TC1, TC3, 8, 12, 15, 18. And uh, we are very active in a number of conferences which are supported by ESIS. Only this year, I think we participated with two or three or four papers at, uh, I think, five or six conferences. Now about the journal, not I will not go into details, but just uh, to get an impression, this is the cover page. Uh, this is uh, on the left a list of uh, papers that uh, are in a process of publishing for number two. 
uh, those in bold are published online soon others will be also and then we also will print this issue and inevitably this 20 uh, second conference is is our best ever event we had have pleasure of uh, of uh, jim rice in presence he was uh, uh, delivering a special lecture in the scope of the summer school, you can see the full audium following his lecture on J Integral on the occasion of 50th year, because J Integral, as we know, was published first in 1968. Also, during the conference itself, uh, Jim Rice uh, was introductory lecturer, and you can see some familiar people here. Uh, Leslie Banks Seals, our best ever president, and of course Francesco, who might take this title from here. We shall see about it. And finally, I like this photo of my father really because his expression on the face is as is as if he is saying, "I'm just watching you." So we have to do our best. Thank you. That is all for now.